like and subscribe right now, or else this will be in your bed tonight. r slash ask reddit by planet reddit. What is extremely common but people think it's extremely rare? Learning something in your 30s that you should have definitely learned much earlier. There's a line of Matilda. By the time she was 2. Matilda had learned what most people learn in their early 30s. How to take care of herself. I remember watching Matilda when I was 21 and I thought FFS. People learn to properly take care of themselves by 19 at the latest. Man this movie is pessimistic. Four years later after having co-workers with nursing degrees rely on homeopathy to cure the flu. Watching a mother feed energy drinks to her kids before bed so they would be awake for a late dinner. Having to explain to a person my own age that shoes can be polished instead of buying a new pair every few months. Having to show a 20 year old woman how to use a frying pan. Having a 27 year old man try to stroke a possum because he thought it was a weird looking cat. Yeah. Roald Dahl had it right. Most people don't learn to look after themselves until their early 30s. And even then. It's most not all. Who have hopefully learned by then. When I was a teenager, I thought people in their 20s definitely had everything figured out because they were older and adults. I'm now in my late 20s and still feel like a child. Just with adult responsibilities. Absorbing your twin in the womb. It's like surprisingly common. I now have the strength of a fully grown man and a developing baby. I absorbed my twin and tbh we still made a weak person. It's not uncommon for people to have 3 kidneys. But until you get a scan for something, you won't know. I was scanned for kidney stones and the doctor just mentioned in an offhanded way I had three. When I questioned him, he said it was not unusual but most folks never find out. A girl I knew growing up suffered an injury from training for a sport. After a few tests to make sure they were not incorrect, they determined that she had four kidneys. She said she always had stomach pain but thought it was from training. A fake she donated the extras and was significantly happier afterwards. I was born with and still have 4 kidneys. Gave me issues as a little kid but not so much now. Roman coins. $5 on eBay. I want one. How do I know it's real? If it says 50 BC on it. Best to leave it alone. A doctor using Google to help figure out what's wrong with a patient. Further. Surgeons using Google mid-surgery or phoning a friend for help mid-surgery. Edit source. Friends with many medical residents of varying specialties. Yup. My sister says that what they learn in med school is how to interpret those search results. A lay person might think that they have cancer. Because they have 6 stroke 9 of the main symptoms. The doctor will be able to tell that the 3 symptoms you're missing are those that are most important to diagnose the illness. So you don't have cancer. Doctors did the same thing before Google. It just took longer because they had to consult reference books instead. I feel education now more so than ever is not the information you know about how to interpret new information in your trained field. Don't like our weather? Just wait a few minutes. Comma insert hometown here. Where we experience all four seasons in a single day week. Also. Man. My city state has the worst drivers ever. Every major city is the toughest city to drive in. Every single one. Miscarriages. I've answered an identical thread before. While we're on childbirth. And to give a more wholesome spin. Premature babies surviving. Used to be a 36 week baby would have a limited chance for survival. And in modern times. I've seen 26 week babies survive and go on to be perfectly healthy. 25 week old preemie here. Colon. 33 years old now. Hi. Drug users. They're everywhere. I thought it was rare until I met a new group of friends who were more regular drug users and it really opened my eyes to how accessible and widespread it is. It's scary how easy it is to find drugs anywhere. There was a point when I was 15 when it was easier for me to get cocaine than it was to get alcohol. A short period. Granted. But it was still very confusing. Fatal car accidents. People are terrified of things that are several orders of magnitude smaller than fatal car accidents to happen. But they drive every day without worrying about it. I literally work near the crater the terrorists left in New York City. 
But do terror attacks keep me up at night? No. I'm still thousands of times more likely to get mangled in a 5 car pile up. Driving is by far the most dangerous activity most of us engage in. And most of us do it every day. Yep. You look at me and see my medical records. You'll probably assume a mine blew my legs off or something. Nope. I got sideswiped and ran over while cycling to work. Then I got an infection at the hospital. People are scared of these horrible deaths that are rare. They don't realize they are surrounded by potential death every moment they are on or next to a road with active traffic. Colorblindness. Edit. Almost no colorblind people see in black and white. The most common variant of colorblindness dot anomaly, red and green, affects everyone in 10 people. We can still see colors but in our own special way that is different to normal people. I was in an electrical engineering lab. My and some random dude are working out our bench. And my two friends are working at the other. One of the two is known to be colorblind. Now. For those of you not in the know. Resistors, an electrical part, label their value with colored bands. Each color represents a number. Which then represents the value of the part. So these two knuckleheads come running over to me. Hey average. Look. This resistor has no colors on it. I take a look. And respond no. Guys. There are three orange bands. Apparently neither of them can see that particular shade of orange. So it's two guys who are probably colorblind trying to read colored bands on parts. Fun times were had by all. My husband is colorblind. And he builds motorcycles as a hobby. The part he hates is electrical wiring. He often calls me out to the garage and asks me what color, s, the wires are. Takes a bit of tape. And labels them with the word for the color, s. Talent. As an artist. Growing up adults and authority figures throughout my life propped up my natural drawing abilities as extremely rare and something that was fundamentally special. I never felt it really was because I always knew so many awesome artists who I considered way better than me and now of course when we look at all the beautiful creative stuff people make and host online across the world it's clear just how common my specific talents are. This goes for anything. How many buskers have gone viral because they have such beautiful voices and are singing in a subway station or on a street corner? Often they sound better than the ones who make it in the music industry. The gatekeepers of a lot of industries have tricked us into thinking that talent is rare and precious so they can market it. I believe it's precious yet incredibly common. Talent may not be rare but the work ethic required to hone it and then sell it as a career is. Talent may not be rare but the work ethic required to hone it and then sell it as a career is. Also the ability to market it. Regardless of what people say. The chances of you meeting the right people. Getting on a label. Etc. Are exponentially higher if you live in LA or NY. If you are a talented singer living in Missouri the chances of it happening are a lot lower. Amicable divorces. You are not just going to pull into the drive one day to find all your shit on the front lawn. My parents got divorced 20 years ago but continued to live together because they had 3 young children under 10. They started dating each other again like 3 years ago though. It's kind of weird seeing my parents be affectionate with one another. That's a very responsible decision your parents made. I know a lot of divorced people who were not nearly as conscious about the good of their kids. A fluke. It's really the most common fish in the ocean. If you go fishing for a fluke. Chances are you'll find one. Describing yourself as crazy and fun. Anyone who describes themselves as weird or spontaneous or crazy is probably the most boring person ever. Or they are legitimately crazy and play it off as being quirky. Based on dating apps. Girls being foodies and loving travel. And loving dogs more than people. If you can't handle me at my pizza, you don't deserve me at my potato. Blue eyes white dragon. But there are only three in the world. You're a third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck. Scoliosis. I told someone that I have scoliosis and then told him that it was actually really common. He didn't believe me until his friend, who also has scoliosis, and I told him how common it was. With how common it is you'd think a doctor would be better at saying someone has it hey. It's pretty damn obvious that someone has it. With me. 
My waistline is on a funny angle and my waist is way more concave on the left side than the right. Being creative. And introverted. And special. More people have told me they are introverted than people have told me they are extroverted. Maybe it's just hip these days. I used to think I was introverted until someone told me I was the extroverted. She explained it to me as it's where you get your energy. I've always loved being around people and find I do gain energy from interacting with my friends and co-workers. I think my misconception of the concept was the fact that I've always been a shy individual and tend to not speak out even when in with people I know very well. But when I think back to my childhood, being described by teachers as quietest kid in class, loudest kid on the playground, and to how I am now, I see what my friend meant when she explained the definitions. Thinking you're a genius. Sorry haters and losers but my IQ is one of the highest. My IQ is 20 stroke 20. Sinkholes. They're common where the rock below the land surface is limestone, carbonate rock, salt beds, or rocks that can naturally be dissolved by groundwater circulating through them. Feeling like the world is against you and thinking you aren't good enough. It's funny how both thinking you aren't good enough and thinking you're a genius are on this thread. I think I'm shit but still better than everyone else. That make any sense? Colon. Join our community discord. Link in description. People talking about their kid like oh he's already doing this. Or they already know how to. Insert verb. More than likely your kid's learning at a very average speed. So many parents seem to think their kid is so ahead of their age. I used to think that crap of my nephews growing up, my sister is so much older than me that my first nephews are more like younger siblings, but then they grew up to be normal dumbasses. Certain kids hit developmental milestones faster than others but the stragglers can catch up and surpass them later. It really means nothing. I've got a new kid and it seems like he's growing and learning so quickly. At every DR visit. I look at the height weight charts and he's always been within 2% of the 50th percentile. Almost exactly average every time. If you didn't get that information though. I can completely see why people would feel that way. Edit. Spelling. Death issues in pregnancy. Stuff that that will kill the mother is way more common than people think. Miscarriage is extremely common in the first trimester. So much so that often women didn't even know they were pregnant. Just thought they were late. Two dollars bills. I looked this up. Thinking it would be less than it is. The breakdown as of 2017 is. 12.1 billion dollars one bills. 1.2 billion dollars two bills. 3.0 billion dollars five bills. 2.0 billion dollars ten bills. 9.2 billion dollars twenty bills. 1.7 billion dollars fifty bills. 12.5 billion dollars 100 bills. So they're the rarest of the denominations under 100 dollars. But still. 1.2 billion bills. About 3% of those in circulation. Ain't nothing. Some bars use 2 dollars bills and 50 cents coins as their gimmick. Double yokes. You need to stop posting M. 100%. My mother found 7 yokes in an egg before. Finding 3 or 4 is quite common. Edit. 3 or 4 because 3 4 was misunderstood by a few. 2 yokes is whatever but post a 7 yoke if it happens again. It might not be rare but it's pretty neat. Poverty. Those who aren't in poverty generally can't recognize when someone is poor. Edit. Words. I live near an extremely poor area surrounded by extremely rich areas. The amount of people in the rich areas who just don't understand poor people is insane. They live like 10 minutes up a major road from them and rarely interact with them. Some of the religious groups go to work in the poor areas but they are the exception. Knowing more than one language. I grew up where knowing two languages was the norm and many people knew three or four. In my linguistics class I learned that about 70% of the world is raised speaking more than one language. Monolingualism is actually fairly unusual. Makes sense. The US is a large and fairly secluded country. And one of only two bordering countries also uses English as a primary language. In many other places. Especially Europe. There's lots of countries with different languages in a relatively small area. 
so it makes sense that you would need to know the languages of the surrounding countries. It's kind of like if all the US states spoke a different language. You would need to learn the languages of the surrounding states if you ever wanted to travel or move any significant distance. Nice people. That's probably the first time I've read this on the internet. Most people that I've met and known have been nice. Good people. But whenever I go to the internet everyone are suddenly a-holes. Edit. To clarify. I do realize that many people that you meet are just being polite because it's the norm. But I'm also under the impression that most people want to do good in this world instead of bad. Maybe this differs from where you're from. Where you live. Which culture you belong to. ETC etc. But even then I still think that most people aren't out to hurt you. Going into labor without your water breaking is a sign of the start. It's absent in like 85% of the cases. In TV shows they always make it seem like the way to know when the baby's coming. Don't put all your money on that rare symptom. 4 Leaf Clover. Find any random patch of clover and look for a few minutes. You'll find a few for sure. I used to find them by the dozens in 7th grade outside my school. Now I don't find many at all even when I look. I now think it was something about the clover patches on that hill. A leprechaun lived there. Having more than 2 nipples. It's around 1 out of every 18 people. My boyfriend has 4 nipples. I think he's part dog. He sheds on the furniture too. Tumors. You're more likely to get one than not. Not all of them are cancerous but yeah. Hospital infections. Underreported. My best buddy went to the hospital for minor surgery and wound up with something called C. diff. Killed him. But the death certificate says heart failure. Diff can go to hell. You literally shit yourself to death. I caught it 5 times in a year and dropped to 69 pounds. I was 17. It was hell. Didn't die. But surely wanted to. People who answered this thread with diamonds or $2 bills. For your information. Diamonds have been said 9 times already. Counter. 252. Edit. Apparently I should also start making a counter for $2 bills. Edit 2. Man. You people really love your diamonds. Edit 3. Congratulations you slash saint too low. You're the 100th person to talk about diamonds. Here. Have a cookie. Edit 4. I'm starting to think that creating and trying to keep up the counter was a mistake. Edit 5. Now that this thread is dead. 252 is the final total. STDs. Most of the sex having population has HPV. I think I read a figure of 70% or something like that from CDC. Without remembering exactly. The figure was over half. Meaning over half of us have. Or have had this shit. But no one thinks it's them. Everyone would have you believe that they get tested for everything which tells you they are lying. Because you can't just go in and test for everything. Reddit gold. Edit. 10 hours later and 9.5 hours after you slash Elder Cunningham. It worked. Thank you. Kind stranger TTTT. Nice try. It worked wow. Millionaires. People who have a net worth of 1 million dollars dollars. It's more or less middle class in this area of the US. Yep. According to CNBC currently about 8% of US adults have a household net worth of a million. The vast majority of them are so called 401k millionaires. Not stock traders or CEOs. Kelpies hiding in the nearby lake. Harry Potter first editions. Most first edition Harry Potters aren't valuable at all. You need very specific printings of the first editions for any real collectible value. The most valuable are the very first copies of the Sorcerer's Stone and the Philosopher's Stone, UK. The rest pretty much aren't worth anything. How often someone wants to duck you or how close you come to dying every day without realizing it. If you only knew the answers to either. You'd probably go insane. One of those only applies to attractive people. Well yeah. It's common knowledge that Uggers are practically immortal. People with moderate political views. In general most people don't swallow their own sides bullshit wholesale. But it can be hard to tell when all media tends to magnify the dipshits and polarize the masses. Thanks for watching. 
subscribe for 3 videos a day.